Where we at? Oh, you want to know where I'm at? We outside! the people that you looked up to as inspiration for where you are now as a CEO? Um, my biggest inspiration was um, Master P and Birdman and Slim. I met Greatness before he even was running with Recent. I bumped into him, I think like when, when, in 2013 or 14, and um, he had reached out to me on Instagram saying like, bro, you know, I love to be a part of what y'all got going on, on grinding or whatever, but at the time I wasn't interested in nothing but what I had going on at the time, because we were just, you know, kicking out quality control and I was focused on Migos and Rich the Kid and the artists that I had at the time wasn't good timing. But a few years later, I started seeing with Reese, and one day Coach K called me and said, yo, it's this kid from New Orleans, Young Greatness. I said, yeah, I know, I know who he is. He said, I want to see you eat records on him. He sent me the records, and the records they was they was like they was they was hard. I, I love I love the records. Um, I think as soon as we signed Greatness, we signed them. We signed them actually in this studio right here. We signed them, and then we had we put out a project. I think we had called Gabe, and we shot like f about five videos on him. And mm -hmm. Moolah was one of those records. I remember when we went. I went to New Orleans with him when he shot Moolah. We put the project out. And we started working that song at radio. We, when we did our joint venture deal with yeah. Motown and Capital, Young Greatness and OG Macko was the first signings that we did in our new joint venture. I know it went gold at the time back then, but the only problem that I had with 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 that record was a lot of people knew the record, but they didn't know Young Greatness. I don't know. I, I don't know, I, I couldn't understand that because Young Greatness was doing a lot of the work, you know what I'm saying? He moved to Atlanta and he was living in Atlanta. And the thing about Atlanta, Atlanta, they don't care. You can be signed to any one of these labels around here. But if you're not really from Atlanta, they ain't gonna like embrace your music like it's one of their own, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I used to tell, I used to tell Greatness, like Greatness, go back to New Orleans and take over Louisiana, become the biggest thing there. Because I feel like when you take over your hometown, you know what I'm saying? And the, you, you, the energy push you to yeah, be a star. Yeah, yeah you feel Like me? what Cash Money did. He had another situation that he wanted to do with Cash Money. I was like, all right, cool, let's just work it out. You know what I'm saying? Because I can go focus on other things. You know, I wish you well, but the, 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 the crazy thing about it is we did, um, we had broke ties with him. And it was always love, you know what I'm saying? It was always respect, you know what I'm saying? But before he passed, it, it was crazy because he was reaching back out. I was looking at the DM that he sent me right before he passed, and it's crazy, it's right here. So, so I'm in Atlanta, fam. I made it last night, want to come chop it up with you. I want my career back, bro. I want to do it with you, big bro. Real talk, you know what I'm saying? And it, it's, 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 people think people think the grass be green on the other side, and then when they get over there, they see it ain't as green, and then they realize what they miss. You never know what you miss till it's gone. I don't know what happened with him and Cash Money, you know what I'm saying? But I just know that um, we gave him what he asked for, you know what I'm saying? And then you know, a couple of years later, he was trying to come um, back. You know, I, when I heard what happened to him. It's just, it, 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 it's crazy, man, because overall, I feel like he was a good dude. I just, if he was grinding 10 years, he, he been he been more than patient. Right. You feel what I'm saying? But I feel like he got his biggest break when he was with us. My man, Young Greatness, a special talent. I'm here to honor him. I come up with the Young Libyan. And I'm here at a football field because he loved football. That was his first passion. But we want to commemorate how this Libyan was able to go ahead and switch his style up from the New Orleans style to embrace more of a melodic style and not only get one contract, but two major recording contracts with two of the biggest labels in the game from people with QC that you just heard about and then Birdman and Slim with Cash Money Records. He's an exceptionally talented person and uh, uh, we just hate that he had to lose his life in the midst of the struggle. I'm going to have to die going out brave. And that's just what it is. Mm -hmm. Before I let somebody make me, you know what I'm saying, uh, 
change how I'm living. It ain't happening like that. Mm -hmm. when, how did you hear about it? Like everybody else heard on um, social media. I, I seen it on social media. But what, what was what was crazy to me is that, you know, I seen when he passed, I seen just a lot of people just, you know. Come out of the blue. Like coming out of the blue and people was like, you know, rest in peace and, you know. And I seen a lot of people, you know, different artists and stuff like that, that I know personally that he wanted support from, but they ain't never do no records with him or nothing like that. Mm. And you know what I'm saying? But now people saying rest in peace and want to get shot out and stuff. And there's some other elements or other spiritual forces and that's the reason why a lot of these New Orleans artists lose their lives. The culture we come from, the environment, you know, of, 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 of self-hate, you know what I'm saying? Hate, jealousy. Boosie said in that interview that you get more hate in your hometown than anywhere else you go around the globe and people love you, you know what I'm saying? Right. But the people who you grow up with they not happy that you you done made. It. I think that's I think that's everywhere. You know what I'm saying? But there ain't gonna be no hate like you know the the city where you from. Mm -hmm. You know I'm faced with it every day. You know what I'm saying? You just had to you know I just keep on moving. I just keep working. I give them some more some more stuff to hate about. I'm just being real true. Your artists from New Atlanta, the ones that's in Atlanta, still live in Atlanta and dwell peacefully. Gucci yeah. man, your yeah. partner dwells peacefully. Yeah, no, nah, but. Mm -hmm. it, People think that. People think that people do it peacefully. It's not like that. It's not sweet as people think it is in Atlanta. Atlanta has Atlanta ain't no different than New than New Orleans. It's, it ain't been a lot of rappers got killed. That's what I'm saying. You got a lot of rappers associates right. that got killed. You know what I'm saying? Right. That people that don't make it to the news, but it's in the streets. New Orleans is cursed. People will say Louisiana is cursed because we lose our artists. Greatness got shot one time in the back, a shot that somebody think will survive and die. And so many people die right as they were coming out. So that's what I'm saying. It's like the Migos, all these people, they could come through football games, get back, and they could ride around it. Of course, there's hate everywhere, but they still feel the love. So did y'all ever bump heads with that? How was it dealing with that inner personality that, what? Because everybody think they bird man in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 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 man. Mm -hmm. Me and Greatness done bumped heads many of times, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, he's an artist, he believed in himself. I remember one time he told me, um, he was expressing to me why he felt like he needed, a, you know, more push than I was giving him because he said he was the best thing on our label, you know? And as an artist, I love that he believed that about himself. He had that confidence in himself. He told me, he said, I'm the best thing over here at QC. I'm better than all of them. You know what I'm saying? Push me like you push them other artists. And I'm like, what you mean? You on the radio just like them. Do you see yourself looking for more talent in New Orleans? I'm looking for talent everywhere. You know what I'm saying? If I see somebody that got potential in New Orleans, that I feel like, you know, we can work together and feel like we can make some money together and I can help them get to the next level and they can help the company, you know what I'm saying, grow and expand, I'm with it. We see that with all these artists. It's a dangerous game we're playing in and we're looking at it on the surface level. But you gotta realize anybody that's pushing something that's, whether it's from hustling or killing or whatever, it somehow come back upon you. You get a little leash. And I'm not saying he did this, but I'm saying you just look at all the people. You know, I don't you gotta say no names. Don't put everybody but Kodak and Young Boy, because that's the only ones that's getting spared in Lil Dirk. And Young Boy got a, a lot tat on his arm. Kodak was in the miles for Ramadan and, and Lil Dirk a Muslim. But that's neither here nor there, because they all playing a dangerous game where they tiptoeing in treachery and, and suffering, where they got people suffering around them and they're going through it. But they get a little leash, you feel me? A little leash to spread a message, misguide a bunch of people, and then but they never get to reap the benefits of it. Or they do they suffering alongside of it. They didn't get to reap it for a little while, then their life get cut short. And that's for a lot of artists. Look at all these artists in Florida, Louisiana, and whatever. So it's about the it's like they dancing with the devil. But you can't let them leave. I'll expound. Anybody else you want me to talk about, interview, leave a comment in there. Shout out to Gangster. Have a million dollar day. Where we at? Oh, you want to know where I'm at? We out.